And he ended a decades long property tax rollback earlier this week. Each year since 1999, the millage rate has been set at whatever amount would bring in $29 million. When our city administration recommends using the maximum tax rate every year. So this means the change would cost an extra $39 per $100,000 of home valuation. But as Local 12's Cassie Arsenal found out, not all city council members are on board with the change. The rollback is gone and a new millage will likely pass with the mayor and seven Democrats on board. And it would bring in roughly $15.4 million more a year. I personally understand how hard it is. I do. This is not something that we want to do, but unfortunately it's something that we have to do in order to provide the services that our citizens rely on. There's so many more bills being added um, to property owners this year for in their tax bill. And with this terrible economy and inflation going up, it is so expensive and every dollar matters. Now, the original rollback in 1999 was to let taxpayers keep more money in their pockets because the city had a surplus. And according to Council Member Keating, Cincinnati has a surplus this year, an $85 million carryover budget it to be exact. Um, my colleagues wanted to push this through so fast because they say that the need is now. I don't agree with that because we do have a surplus due to the stimulus dollars. With that said, the stimulus dollars are expected to run out in a few years and there is an anticipated budget gap of over $20 million. And in order to prevent cuts to basic services, I'm talking about police and fire and sanitation workers, we have to make these difficult decisions. But Keating says the problem is that the council has already prioritized this money for new programs in the budget. So we're bringing money in the door just to send it right back out. That is not sustainable and that is not setting us up for the future to protect ourselves for um, potential budget cuts when we have that budget shortfall. And this all falls on the shoulders of property owners who have already been hit with the 3% increase in sewer rates mixed with inflation. We cannot continue to make it more and more expensive to live in the city of Cincinnati. And the city manager warned in a memo that deficits loom due to employee raises and less income tax coming in due to remote work. The American Rescue Act money from the federal government has been propping up the operating budget since 2020, but that money is expected to run out in fiscal year 2026.